Hello everybody, good to see you again. Today we're going to be taking a look at what I think is probably Serum's most powerful feature. So I'm just going to play you a quick clip and all or nearly all of the sounds that you can hear, all the sort of leads or effects or whatever, all use this technique. So let's have a listen. Okay, so there's a lot of weird stuff going on in there, but if you're into sort of darker, more foresty perhaps stuff, or just generally kind of interesting squelchy textures, then this method is definitely something you're going to enjoy. So we'll just throw together a quick patch using this technique, just so you can see what's going on and how you can do it yourself. Okay, so here we have Serum. So what this technique is based off of is what's called audio rate modulation. So essentially what we are going to do is imagine we will control a parameter with an LFO, but the LFO is going to track the keys that we press. So it will play the same frequency on the LFO as the keys that we press. Okay, so. The way we're going to go about doing that is we're going to turn on the noise oscillator and we're going to go over to this little button here, click that to make sure it key tracks. We're going to turn the level down because we don't want to hear it at all. And then we're going to leave the rest of it alone. Okay, so you need to think of the noise oscillator as a modulator now. So we need to load a waveform into our modulator. Very similar to drawing a shape into our LFO. Okay, so one way of doing that is popping into here, the wavetable editor, and going single, send to noise oscillator. Okay, so now we should have a modulation that will start at the zero crossing and go to the full amount of modulation, down to the bottom, and then back. Just to sort of illustrate that, let's use it on the cutoff just so you can see it visually. Mod source, noise oscillator. Let's make it a bit slower, just so you can definitely see what's going on. So as you can see, it starts at our middle point, goes to the top of the modulation, and then all the way down and back. Okay, and if I play different keys on the keyboard, plays the modulation back at the speed related to the key that we've pressed. Okay, so let's just get rid of that modulation and turn our band pass off for the moment. And let's go and set the pitch up to about 48 semitones. Uh, important thing, as long as we use multiples of 12 in here uh, for the pitch, our patch is going to stay in key. So quite useful if you want things to be sort of at least somewhat harmonious in your music, or not too dissonant. Anyways, so let's just stick with this saw wave and go to the course pitch. And go mod source, noise oscillator. Okay, so let's turn it down a little bit. We should now have a raspy noise. Okay, nothing too exciting. But let's pop into the mod matrix and we can change how much modulation is happening. Okay, so it's totally up to you how much you have. It's going to just change the, the texture and how much of the spectrum we're using up. For this type of noise that I'm kind of aiming for in my mind, I want about 36 semitones of reach in it, so I've typed 36 ST. Okay, so now we've got this. Which doesn't sound too exciting, but let's turn on a bandpass filter, a little bit of resonance, turn this back up. Okay, 
Okay, still not super interesting. Let's try turning the octave of our carrier up. Okay, starting to get interesting. Let's turn up another one. That's more like it. Okay, so in that way we can have this kind of driving driving FM lead. And by the way, this is literally FM. This is called through zero FM. Let's just quickly get a note generator. Okay, or alternatively, if we want to get a bit more of a raspy or more textureful tone out of it, we can go back to our pitch on our noise oscillator and turn it down to 36, an octave beneath what we had. Okay, so now let's say we want to use a different modulator. It's all well and good going in here and loading our waveforms and using the send to noise oscillator. Especially this is useful for very complex waveforms, but if we're just using basic shapes, it's unnecessary to go in there. We can just draw the shape we want. Let's say, let's have a ramp down and just drag from the LFO onto the noise oscillator. So now we'll have a ramp down modulation. As you can hear, it kind of sounds more, I always just call it lasery rather than more bubbly from the ramp up. Okay, or Maybe a triangle. I do quite like triangles, I must say. Okay, so that's the basic method. You can now go and modulate anything you like using the noise oscillator and there are all kinds of crazy textures to be found through this technique. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.